A pleasant day to everyone. My name is John Kenneth Oneva, a third-year Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering student of Bicol University College of Engineering. And today, I will be gonna presenting two problems from our subject, Electrical Machines, regarding DC motors. So without further ado, I will now start. For the first problem, the armature current of a series motor is 60 amperes when on full load. If the load is adjusted to that this current decreases to 40 amperes, find the new torque expressed as a percentage of the full load torque. The flux for a current of 40 amperes is 70% of that when current is 60 amps. In this problem, the first thing we'll be going to do is to list down the given. For the I1 or the armature current when on full load, it is equal to 60 amperes. Then, since it is adjusted and the current decreased, the I2 will be 40 amperes. And lastly, the flux is 0.7 or 70% of that when the current is 60 amperes. Proceeding to the solution, we will take advantage of the relationship between torque, flux, and armature current, which states that torque is directly proportional to the flux times the armature current. Knowing this, I'm going to assume that T1 is equal to flux 1 times the armature current 1 and T2 is equal to flux 2 times the armature current 2. Then, we can now have the formula T1 over T2 is equal to flux 1 times armature current 1 all over flux 2 times the armature current 2. After obtaining this formula, we can now substitute the given values which will yield T1 over T2 is equal to 60 over 40 times 0 0.7. Cal calculating this, we can have the value T1 over T2 is equal to 2.1428. Then, since what we were finding the new torque expressed as a per percentage of the full load torque, we need to manipulate these values to I and isolate T2 which will yield T2 is equal to 1 over 2.1428 times 100. And computing this using calculator, we can have T2 is equal to 46%. Therefore, the new torque expressed as a percentage of the full load torque is 46%. That would be all for the first problem. Thank you. Proceeding to the second problem, a 20 kilowatt DC shunt generator delivering rated output at 1,000 revolutions per minute has a terminal voltage of 500 volts. The armature resistance is 0 0.1 ohms, voltage drop per brush is 1 volt, and the field resistance is 500 ohms. Calculate the speed at which the machine will run as a motor taking an input of 20 kilowatts from a 500 volts DC supply. So just like in the problem number one, we'll first list down the given. The given are the output power which is 20 kilowatts and when converted is equal to 20,000 watts. Then for armature resistance which is 0 0.1 ohms, the speed as a generator, which is 1,000 revolutions per minute, the shunt field resistance, which is 500 ohms, the voltage, which is 500 volts, and the brush drop, which is equal to, um, since there are two brushes, it is equal to 2 volts. Mm. Proceeding to the solution, first, we are going to solve for the generator. Using the formula IA is equals to IL plus ISH and substituting the values 40 for the load current and five, the ISH can be fi found using the formula V o all over V divided by the shunt field resistance. So that means 500 over 500. That means the IA is equal to 41 amperes. Then, proceeding to the uh, formula, EB, EG is equal to voltage plus IA times RA plus the drop, brush drop voltage. Then, again, substitute all the values. 
EG is equal, which we will now yield, EG is equal to 500 plus 41 times 0 0.1 plus 2. And when input in a calculator and calculated, the generated EMF is equal to 506.1 volts. Then, we will now solve for the back EMF of the motor. For motor, just like in problem, uh, just like in the previous step, we will first find the armature current. But this time, since it's a motor, the formula would be the load current minus the shunt field current. Substituting the values, 40 minus 500 over 500, that means the armature current for motor is 39 volts. Then, proceeding to the formula, back EMF is equal to V minus IA times RA. Oh, there's uh, no, minus VDR or the voltage drop. Substituting the values, we will have the back EMF is equal to 500 minus 39 times 0 0.1 minus 2, which is the volt voltage drop. <clears throat> then, input it in a calculator, it will yield back EMF is equal to 494.1 volts. Lastly, to calculate the speed at which the machine will run as a motor, taking an input of 20 kilowatts from my 500 volts DC supply, we will now use the formula EG over EB is equal to NG over NM. The NG is for the speed of the generator, while the NM is, is for the speed of the motor. And since we're finding the speed of the motor, we would isolate NM, which would yield NM is equal to NG times EB over EG. So that means the speed of the generator times the back EMF divided by the generated EMF. Substituting the values, now we will have the speed for the motor is equal to 1,000 times 494.1 all over 506.1 and when inputted in a calculator calculated the value for the speed of the motor is equal to 976.28 or 976.3 revolutions per minute that would be all for the presentation thank you very much and goodbye